welcome to Motivational Mondays. And today we're going to be talking about network for your net worth. Yes, network for your net worth. I will be breaking that down in this video, but I want to let you guys know it is so much you can do to build up your net worth. No excuses. No excuses. Network till your neck hurt. Network till your neck hurt. And when I say that, I mean, put your feet to the ground and get the going. You know, many of us struggle with networking. We're not really too prone on knowing how to properly network. But honestly, baby, I can't even tell you if it is a proper, proper, proper way. But if you're not going to do it, somebody else going to do it. And if you really do need somebody else to do it for you, that's understandable. Hire somebody to help you network. Find someone and hire them, like, to really help push your brand. You need to network to build your net worth. A business with no sign <laughs> is a sign of no business. A business with no sign is a sign of no business. You have worth within yourself. You are self-worthy. I want you guys to know that you are worthy. Let me show you how to network, okay? If you're new, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you're returning, you already know what it is, okay? Please put those push notifications on and stay updated with these Monday motivational talks. I just want us all to be better. That's it. I just want the best for us all. Like You have to know you have to market yourself in order to grow. You have to market yourself. And it's, it's different ways to market yourself. Tips and tricks to help you grow your business. I want to touch base on the four P's of marketing. It is four P's of marketing and when you tie them all together that's going to help you with your target but we're going to talk about the four p's the four p's is your product your service what are you even offering tell us what are you offering what are you trying to get out to the consumers they're not your customers yet they're consumers the people who's outside looking for things to buy these are your consumers who you want to get to be your customers all right what is your product what is your sales your service what are you giving what tip is it giving that's that's one thing we got to like talk about your products how it looks what you offering what you what you giving after that we're going to talk about the pricing the pricing of that product the pricing of what you're selling your services anything we have to talk about the pricing then once you have your products you have the pricing for that product and service now let's talk about promo how are we about to promote it how are we about to go out here and promote what we got going on how can we do this huh it's multiple ways so how can we do this i'm gonna let you know lastly for the last four is the place what is your location where are you servicing are you just doing online services to where you can reach any and everyone? Are you doing local? Are you just trying to focus on just right here? What What is it? Tell me, what's the location? What are, we, what are we doing? Online? Are we coming to a brick and mortar? Let me know. What is it? What's up? Product, price, promotion, place. That's going to all tie to give you that target market that you want. That's going to bring the consumers as customers it's going to give you what you want that traction you need you got to keep it on you baby. you got to keep it on you when you're dealing with your brand i'm gonna start with the small business owners because you guys are the ones who really need this people who already been in business for years and pushing they already there some might need a little more help still but this is for the people who's just starting out for their business i want to let you know how i got where i got like i'm able to move how I want to move, do what I want to do off of selling myself. And when I say selling myself, I'm not talking like illegally. Sorry, not me. That's not it. I want to show you how I literally sold myself years ago. I couldn't be able to have no conversation with no man unless it's like we're together type of stuff. Like I would be so shy, nervous, whatever. People already can, people can sense that I'm so like shy still. But now I'm more confident in myself. I grew that confidence and that self-esteem to be like, what? What? 
I'm gonna go walk up to whoever I want to walk up to. I'm gonna go talk to who I want to talk to. Forget that. Like networking, it builds you. I'm gonna let you know that now. Networking really truly builds who you are as a person. It gets you out of your shell. You have to put yourself on the forefront. Now you have to really sell who you are. You have to know who you are. You have to know what your business is before you go out and do anything. You have to know who you are because you're not going to be able to sell nobody if you don't even know who you is. How can you sell you when you don't know who you is? No. So this is for my small business owners who's just starting out, trying to get that traction and you want them customers. You've seen all them impressions, impressions, impressions. We're trying to converse that into purchases, right? We want pros. We want profits. We want them inversions. We're seeing them coming. We're seeing people looking. But what can we get them to, like, stick? How can we get them to stay? How can they remember you? How will they remember you and want to be around what you have? What are you giving off that makes people want to come to you? Or do you think you're just sitting back and people going to know you? No, they're not going to know you. You're just sitting in a little corner by yourself, not talking, not communicating, not doing nothing. They just going to see you. They don't care. They go look over you after that. They see your face. All right, that's it. What more do you have to offer? Can you open your mouth and speak? Can you go and reach out to certain people, just like even on online? Are you taking that time to go out and like really network? So I want to say I started off when I first started with my business, I was heavy on the street promo. Y'all, like I'm telling you, I'm taking off on that street promo when I first started with my clothes. Y'all, I had over maybe eight to 10 ambassadors. I shipped to over 30 states. Like, I'm just saying, like, them clothes was giving what it was supposed to give. I had models that was like it. Like, my, my girls, who was my ambassadors, perfect, perfect choice, perfect everything from the small to the plus size. Literally, from size extra small to size 2X, 3X, I'm having the right people. Like, you have to know, you have to know what's your vision, like, before you go out to the street and put your business out, get that vision in y'all head first. Just, y'all gotta, like, literally break it down. This is what I want. This is the look I'm going for. This is, like, this is who I really, really want. But we gonna also go back and touch on that, of what you really, really want, as well as what, who wants you. Because sometimes the, the crowd that you want doesn't want you, and it's a crowd that wants you, and you're not even focused on them, and they trying to really give you all you got like you know what i'm saying you gotta like have that you gotta you gotta find that balance you will have a crowd that you would want to go for and it's not really giving what you wanted like you wanted that crowd badly but you're not really looking into seeing what your demographics is you ain't putting all the four together you thinking that locally this but where you really located at right now is not the crowd that you were seeking for where you located right now is this crowd who is here to give you what you really need and what you want. So let's open up a little bit towards that. We have to open up broadly. Yes, we all want that target audience of what we really want, but it'll come. But that don't mean try to shoo off other people just because you think it don't fit. No, we're not about to do that. Like I said, I started off with street promo, reaching out to these girls, I'm like, okay, if you go be my ambassador, of course, I'm paying my employees. Like, I'm going to pay my employees. How we, how people going to want to help you and you ain't helping them? Like, we need to make it make sense. Let's, we need to have, it don't even got to be monetary. Like, let's just have something that we can exchange and just keep it going. Like, it's, it's things out here we can do that you don't have to do alone. You can have a team. You're not going to make it alone. Like I said, so with the street promo, I had my homegirl out with me. We hit parking lots. We passing out flyers. We touching them on cars. I'm going inside stores, hair stores, everything. Got my ambassadors posting, posting, posting. Every time you post something, you getting like five, ten dollars. Like you coming up on some people saying, "Oh yeah, they brought clothes because they seen somebody do that." Some people reached out to me for them clothes. Like I'm telling y'all, like my first year of business. Thank you to the ladies that really helped me. Thank you. I'm going to say that now. Thank you. Because even for my fashion shows, I had, rest in peace, Antoine, 
he was out here even helping me out. He threw me on a podcast. He had me coming on talking about my fashion show. He like, you got to do this. You got to do that. Promo, promo, promo. Like everybody that's around me, they just love helping me. And I love that so much because you are not going to make it alone. And that street promo is what you need. You need them people to see you. And when they see you outside really promoting, now they go help and they engage and they go support and they go help too because they see you. You for sure doing this. You really about what you're saying. You about what you want to do. Like, all right. Now all of them seeing that. So now you bringing that track to me. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all see me wearing this every day. Y'all see me doing this every day. Like, I'm really on this. This ain't no for play play. And they see that. Once you really marketing yourself and you upholding to what you stand for, they see that. Everybody around you see that. Like, that's what's going to bring them up. That's bringing the money and that's bringing that support and that's bringing everything. Like, get to it. Start it with that street promo. It ain't nothing to go around putting flyers. Nothing. I'm telling you that now. Nothing. It don't cost too much or nothing to do that. Instead, you're just sitting up in the house bored, just not doing nothing, get, passing the time by, drinking, you know, doing all that stuff. When you can do the outside, really networking. Networking, networking, networking. And two was airdropping. I'm going to tell y'all that is one of the key tricks, airdropping. I don't care if 10 people declined, if 3 people accepted it, you you did what you had to do. As long as the one person accept your stuff when you airdropping, you did what you had to do. You outside partying, drinking, and wasting money, baby. Why you outside to airdrop, make your money, be seen, be heard, even behind the scenes. Because me, like I said, I was so shy. Like, granted, I can talk to people now instantly walking up on a person. I do hair. Hair my business card. I'm here. Come book. That's it. Simple. But, like, when you outside spending money and stuff like that, think about how, how you about to pay for this stuff. Might as well try to make money while you're spending, right? Might as well try to go ahead and get some old customers coming in. All these consumers around you. Customers, thank you. Please don't just have them out here just being me and consumers. Mind. No. And I wasn't even, like, I already knew my product. I already knew, like, in 2019, I'm talking to people. I'm like, I just love those silky robes. Like, just that sensual look. I just love that, like... Me, I'm a goofy individual. Like, sexy is not me. Like, it just doesn't come naturally to me. I'm more of a goofy person. So, I'm like, I really want to get into that, like, bedroom stuff. Like, that was 2019. I'm telling y'all. 2019, I'm talking to my people about that at work. I'm still working a real job. Like, I'm talking, I'm like, y'all, I need to learn how to brand myself. I need to promote myself on Instagram. 2020, I'm about to be out here selling clothes. And I'm talking to my friends and I'm like, 2020, y'all, I'm trying to promote myself. I need to push myself. They talk about, what you gonna promote? What you promote? I'm promoting me. I'm a brand. Like, I'm promoting myself. And they're like, oh, for real? Okay. This is 2019, just talking. And I'm telling them, like, yes, I'm promoting myself. That's what I'm about to do. I'm about to sell clothes. I'm gonna do robes so bad. Y'all, I got to get into 2020. Starting my business. I ain't had a job since 2019. Guys, like, I started my business in 2020 with clothes, getting heavy on Instagram and promoting myself, reaching out to my ambassadors, getting girls on the team. Like, 2020 took off. Y'all, the clothes took off so good. After the pandemic, 2021, me and my best friend, her birthday is in January, mine's in February, so we got to celebrate our birthday in March. So it's like, uh, even together. So, we goes to Miami in 2021. And I used to get my nails done. And it'll probably be long. Not like no long, long. But it'll be long nails. And I had this wig on. And I'm like, I really need some help fixing it and stuff like that. And I had her mom and her helping me with my hair. And I'm like, y'all, I'm not getting my nails done no more. I'm about to start doing hair for real. Like, I'm about to start taking hair seriously. It's 2021. March. Yep, middle of March. Because when I say when I got back to Orlando from Miami... End of March, early April, I would start working in the shop. The fact that I allowed, so I said, I'm not getting my nails done no more. I'm about to start doing hair. March of 2021, boom, I'm getting my clientele up. And I'm over here on Marketplace. I'm pushing that, pushing, 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 pushing my hair on Marketplace. And then also the people in the shop also was like, oh my God, you actually good. Like people really like your energy. They like how you are presenting yourself. They like your work. Everything is just good. Clicks, 
Orlando first year took over 200 clients. Like, I did what I had to do. I ain't gonna lie to you with the street promo, putting the flyers everywhere, getting on podcasts, talking about my business. Talk, just, I have to push it because it's like what I stand for, I stand for it. It really means something to me. So when I, it means something to me, I gotta go all in. And it's no time to be lazy. It's no time to be trash. Marketing is so much. And when you market yourself, you have to really present yourself. You have to carry yourself like you really are your business because you are to my small business owners you are the face of your business you have to carry yourself a certain way i don't have no time to be play play i got no time to be trash people not about to take me serious they see me doing certain stuff you are your product to be honest you are your product well when i go out with my hair done every all the compliments like one compliment a day at least one compliment a day at least on my hair or on my clothes Oh, I love your hair. Thank you. I do hair. Thank you. I do hair. Here you go. Here's my business card. Oh, I love your outfit. Where you get it from? Oh, I have a um a boutique. You know you can follow me. What? You are your product. You are your service. Wear it. Be that. I have so many clothes with just like me on there. I told y'all in 2019, I'm promoting myself. I don't know what y'all thought, but I'm promoting myself. I was selling t-shirts with me on there. It's a brand. It's more than just, no. Nah. This is for real. Network, y'all. When I tell y'all, like, when y'all go out, once you're going out and passing out your cards, like, day by day, it don't matter if somebody tell you no. It don't matter if somebody decline. Because that one yes, that one yes, y'all will turn you up. I swear it'll turn you up. Your spirit's lifting up. Your confidence growing. Now you really just don't even care. You can walk up to whoever. And when I tell y'all, I'll be talking to whoever. And people be like, dang. It's just like comes on after you or something. No, I don't like attention. I'm bad on Instagram or like on TikTok or something. You will pay to promote your video for like a certain amount of days. And I want to say that has helped as well. I don't know how much it has helped compared to me actually going out to people and word of mouth because of, I guess they have told me like I need to start asking more of my clients how did you hear of me that's what I gotta start doing look I'm learning it myself while I'm teaching y'all because a lot of my clients are like I seen you online or I have a business card that you didn't gave me months ago and I just found it again I'm just like wow this is really good to know that what I'm putting in my work it doesn't go in vain People are really caring and using this information that I'm giving them. And they coming back, building that rapport. Like, it's not stopping. No matter where I move, that hustle is in me. Where I go, I'm going to network. I'm going to build some relationships. And I'm going to make my money. What? That's just simple. Networking. Look up networking events. Oh, I used to do that so much. I joined the chamber in florida with another Orlando, i joined two chambers i met so many nice people there for real estate and everything because i do do real estate and taxes so i'm out networking i'm talking i'm carrying myself like i'm a boss because i am one so it's like you have to like have that mentality like you just want to put yourself out there you have to grow your confidence up i get discouraged like i said you can get 10 declines from an airdrop but them three that accepted you baby don't get discouraged. Make sure your product is speaking that value, like that quality that you want it to give. If you are promoting a product or a service, make sure it's giving what it's supposed to give. Do not go back and forth about your price. Let me say that one more time. Do not go back and forth with nobody about your prices. Because little Susie could probably be charging $50 for this. And big time could probably be charging 75. They both got the same products for real, but you know your work a little bit better than Susie's. And that fifty dollars ain't sounding too good because you know what I'm saying. And big time, he's been in the business for some years. Now you know that quality up there. I mean, you almost there, but you ain't all the way there. Why are you trying to charge 75? You ain't there yet, baby. Go ahead and stick to the 65. Like, don't go back and forth with your prices. You know you're working your quality right now. But once you up there, where big time is raising price. Don't don't worry about what your clients might feel because they go still rock with you if you if they was there with you right there and they already know your quality work, it's okay to raise them prices up. 
you didn't you experience now. It's okay to start off right here in the middle, but raising prices, it's okay. I promise you, it's okay. Don't be scared. Don't go back and forth about your prices. Don't go back and forth about your prices. But be mindful of who your target is and who actually is messing with your product. Be mindful of who your target is and who is actually contributing to what you got going on. I said, don't go back and forth about your prices. Your prices is your prices. Mm -mm. Don't do that. Not. When it comes to business, do not take nothing personal. Do not take it personal when someone is criticizing or critiquing you in like a good way. Like a bad way, obviously, is telling you you need to fix this and that. But they're not doing it nasty. They're not like, they're not trying to make you feel bad about yourself or about it when they criticize you or critique you. But understand that that criticism is going to help you. Focus, look at look at the video, look at the outside looking in and like, okay, they saying this right here needs to get a little tweaking. Okay, let me work on that. Let me figure out how I can make it a little bit better. Let me figure out how I can make it a little bit more suitable for the people who I want it to be suitable for. It's okay. Don't take it personal. Do not take it personal. Mm -mm. Don't take it personal. Just listen and understand what they're saying fix it work on it it's always room for improvement it is always room for improvement no one is perfect nothing is perfect as long as you're giving it your best and keep on trying you got this you got lastly do not ignore your traffic i'm sorry to tell y'all do not ignore your traffic do not try to do so much pushing towards one demographic i want to say don't try to focus so much on one that you know nobody's really biting and you want this crowd so bad but nobody's biting it's okay to be right here with all the people that do want it like you know even though that's not really what you was going for when you first started your business that's not what your ideal crowd was it's okay. It's okay. We all have to start from somewhere. Don't ignore your traffic. Make everything count. Make everything count. Keep it on you at all times. And when I say keep it on you at all times, you have to have your own clothes on. Like you have to wear your own stuff. You have to carry your business cards around. Keep your information on you. Like first First impression, first impression, first impression, keep it on you. We want the consumers to be customers. It's all in your marketing. It's all in your marketing. Let's learn how to network for your network. If you have any questions or concerns or anything, just reach out to me. I will be starting my double dose interviews so I can also help you with who struggle with the networking. Make it so easy for you to just come to my page See what career goal you're trying to go to, like, and reach out to these people that I'm putting on my show. Because I'm not accepting nobody on my show unless you really are a genuine, good-spirited person. And these are people who don't gatekeep. Anybody that you ever see on my show is good people. Anybody that you see on my interviews are great individuals. These people do not gatekeep and they will help you. If you are struggling with networking, reach out to these people. And on these interviews, they leave their information for you to reach out, their numbers, their emails, their Instagrams, their social medias. Like, just at least take the time out to reach out to them. If you can't network in person to nobody, at least start there. I want you guys to be able to come to my channel and be motivated. I want you to come to my channel and be able to learn how to network, how to grow, how to have your own network. We too old, y'all. We too old to be not knowing. And I want to help. I just genuinely want to help. That's it. Thank you guys for watching for the Motivational Mondays. Today we was talking about marketing. So I hope that helped you out just a little bit more. You know, stay tuned for our next week of Motivational Mondays.